What's up, JD Aliens? Look, man, if you're like me, I got a lot of tech just in this room alone. I got a lot of stuff plugged in and I'm always looking for smart solutions because I'm, I'm a real like tech nerd, geeky kind of guy. I love smart home technology and I like controlling everything in my house with my voice. It's actually kind of crazy because like my friends come over and they're like, oh, he's stunting. He's got his voice controlling everything. Well, I ain't trying to stunt. I'm just lazy, bro. Let's do it. But the one thing I had never seen before now is a smart power strip. I've seen tons of smart plugs. I've actually tried tons of smart plugs and I, not all of them are created equal. Most of them work for the most part, but I'm particularly fond of Nui's products. Uh, Nui is the brand of this bad boy. I really do like their smart plugs, not only because of the design, but because of the app that you can use with it and they just work every time I need it to work. They have failed less often than any of the other ones I've used as far as being connected to Google or not. So in my opinion, Nui is the brand to go with when it comes to smart outlets and, and smart bulbs and stuff like that. I actually have Nui smart bulbs in the ceiling right here. But when I saw this power strip, man, I was like, I gotta have this. It's got four power outlets right there. Then you got one, two, three, four USB ports, man. I don't know how many, uh, how much amperage these will put out, but I guess we'll see in just a moment but i gotta tear into this box so i gotta call my man mr meat to do this job because yeah that's what he does uh, oh yeah y'all know how i like it man <laughs> naked products and that smell of new stuff mm -hmm. so here it is let's just get the box out of here i don't think there's gonna be any special stuff involved in this you got some instructions which we may or may not need usually when you just open up the app you'll see how to connect these things. But I just wanna see a couple of specs here. Get in here, let me turn down my ISO a little bit so you can read with me to see what these things are all about. Oh yeah, so there it is right here. You got your Wi-Fi requirements at 2.4 gigs, but the USB ports are five volts, 2.4 amps. So yeah, you're gonna get some power out of these things. So let's just go ahead and take a look around it and see what it's all about. Then we'll get it connected. Man, this thing is gorgeous. Like, <laughs> you know, when you think about a power strip, you don't really think much, man. You think about that traditional old, you know, long power strip or, you know, something in a boxy shape like this. And it's just nothing to really look at. It's just, you plug your stuff in there. But this thing, is, it's got that newy style to it, man. It's shaped just like the uh, the power outlets they have, which I like so much because of their design. You got really good, oh wow, you can wall mount it. Then you got this thick cable, which has braided insulation over it. And then it terminates into the three prong uh, input right here. And this is actually relatively small compared to the other ones that you'll get on your typical. Now I really picked this thing up to control my lighting from my studio right here. I got a panel right here and a panel right here aiming down at the products that you always see. And then I have a ring light right here with the camera in it. And I have a regular power strip hooked up to it, but like I said, dude, I'm lazy. I hate reaching down there to click the switch and sometimes I'll you know, go away and leave it on. And it's just nice to be anywhere around the world and I can either you know, go to the app or whatever and turn them off or on, or I could just be anywhere in the house. I'm like, oh man, I left my lights on. Let me turn them off or something like that. Or you could put it on a timer. So let's get this thing hooked up and we'll see how it works. A few moments later. Okay, this actually gets a lot better than I thought. But first, I got to clear some things up for you people that might have questions about these USB ports. Yes, they are 2.4 um, amps, but it is not considered fast charging. I just looked at my Samsung fast charging uh, power brick and it is uh, 2 amp, right? So yeah, 5 volts, 2 amps and it's fast charging rated, I guess, because it shows up on my phone. But once I plug in the uh, the US, the same USB cable to the Nui uh, power strip here, it tells me that it's not fast charging. Well, it doesn't say slow charging. It just doesn't say fast charging. It says one hour and 16 minutes until full charge. So let me take this out of here, right? And then I'll plug in my Samsung like stock charger and I'll show you how the uh, time frame is gonna change just a little bit. So when I, plug in my Samsung, it says 48, oh no, 40 minutes until full charge. That kind of verifies that it's not like certified fast charging, but it is pretty fast as far as charging is going to deliver the power. So now that that's out of the way, I want to talk about how this gets even better as we go along. Let me open up this app for you real quick. So get in here, man, get in there. There you go. You can control all of these power slots right here. The USB is all controlled by one, okay? So you can toggle that on or off. You hear that click? That's off. 
and that's on. So if you got a bunch of stuff plugged in via USB, you can actually toggle that on and off throughout the app. But when you step over into the power outlets, you got one, two, three, four that are individually controlled by each individual switch. So I can actually toggle uh, switch one, which is, which light is that? Okay, that's the one on my left. It's actually off. Now, if I go to switch two, let me turn switch one back on so I won't go to total darkness. Switch one is back on. Then we go to switch two and switch two is off. And then we can turn off switch three, which is the front light. That is, oh man, that is so awesome. Switch four, there's nothing plugged into it. As you can see right here, let me back out a little bit so you can see there's nothing plugged into switch four, but one, two, and three actually have something plugged in and now I have my full scale lighting uh, set up here, man. So I don't know what I'm gonna plug in for. Don't know what I'm gonna use these, um, these uh, USB ports for, but I'm so glad I have four of them. Wow, that, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm probably just gonna use them to charge different stuff that I have. So I literally just changed one outlet into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I can control five different ones at the same time. Now let's go into the individual ones. So this is the USB switch. So you can just tap anywhere on there. And then if you get in here, come back in, man. If you get in here, you can schedule this bad boy to go on and off and all kinds of stuff, right? Or you can set a timer for it for five minutes, 10 minutes, all the way to whatever custom you want. And then you can go into each individual plug and do the exact same thing. So you're telling me right now, this is what you're telling me, Nui. This power strip right here, five outlets. Well, okay, so we got one, two, three, four power outlets. And then we have four USBs that are controlled under the same uh, section. You can control all of this individually. Mind blowing. This is so awesome. This is game changer right here. If you're a smart home guy or yeah, you got to be a smart home guy because regular people don't like this kind of stuff or you don't even care or know about it. But guys like me who are either lazy or just tech enthusiasts, you got to have this in your house. I don't know what you're going to do with it. I don't know where you're going to put it. This already has a, a home in my house. So you got to go out there and get your own. Thank you, Nui, for what you've done with your innovation here. This is so fly. This is mine, man. You got to go get your own, like I said before. And I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do know this is fly. <laughs> Hey man, get out of here. I got to finish my setup. Throw the emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want and then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is this not why you are here?